Nigeria as a major oil producing country has long relied on importation of refined petroleum products to meet its domestic demand. However, with the recent push towards local refining, there is growing interest in understanding the potential impact of this shift on the pricing of this product in the Nigerian market. Experts say local refining can or may reduce the dependence on imported products. That's one leading to decrease in transportation and logistics costs. But what are the pros and cons of this development? I introduced him earlier, and he's live in the studio. He's the chairman, Southwest Zone, of Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Mr. Dilichardin, it's good to see you. It's been a while. How is work, sir? <laughs> good afternoon, Tolu. It's good to see you. Here. And good afternoon, TFC family. Good yeah. afternoon, viewers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, immediately, I heard that uh, Dangote has started to churn out diesel and aviation fuel. Let's say diesel in particular now as Ipan. I'm starting to think that maybe we are getting to that point where we start to heave a sigh of relief. What is really the implication and what does it mean for Ipman? Thank you very much once again. I think uh, the first thing is to appreciate mm. the Dangote Group for that initiative uh, because without... Uh, that initiative, we can't be talking about uh, local refinery yes. today, so we must appreciate that. And I uh, also want to use this opportunity to plead with the business Mongols, more people to come into the industry mm. so that we can have effective reduction in the price of uh, petroleum products. And also, the Nigeria National Petroleum uh, Company Limited to also ensure that all the four refineries we have in Nigeria okay. are working in full capacity and uh, also to renovate the 21 depots that we have across the nation. I can tell you for free that all the 21 depots are not working as of today. So, so Lagos is still the only... Exactly. So if putting all these things together, uh, it will significantly help the pricing system that we are talking about. So once again, uh, I want to commend the Dangote Group, and I want to commend uh, some others that are already in the pipeline to join Dangote, and the people that can do the, the local refineries and so on and so forth. Well, the, this was started. Dangote has started trucking at zero. And I can tell you that immediately it started, the price of this was reduced, uh, let's say, about 20 percent. Wow, because wow. Uh, today, uh, the highest you can get in any filling station is about 1350 or 1400, mm. as against 1600 and 1700 before this time. So, that's a signal that uh, if we have more of uh, Dangote refineries and uh, NMPC depot, it means we can do below uh, 1,000 Naira. And the reason is that, uh, one, we don't need dollar to go and buy yeah, to yes. import again. And uh, that's one of the, even apart from the reduction in price, uh, that will also help the government, I mean Nigeria, in terms of forex, employment, and so many other Area. So I commend Dangote, and I'm, I'm very sure that uh, if this continues, it will actually help to reduce the prices. Today, we have not started receiving PMS from Dangote. Okay. I want to be sure that once it starts PMS also, in about a month's time, we will also have a relief of uh, the price of PMS. But one thing is uh, happening right away. The price of PMS has continued to go up now. Despite the fact that the dollar is dropping? So, I don't know. That is a human factor. Because um, precisely on Saturday, I yes. bought I bought PMS for 645 Naira from a depot. Today, it's 666 Naira. That's a margin, that's a difference of about 20-something 20 20 something naira. naira. So, it's that government 
So, but government also have a role to play. Despite the fact that the industry is deregulated, I think they have to checkmate these depots. Because uh, as of today, we still believe that it is NMPC that imports all the fuel. And uh, when the price was even, when, I mean, when dollar was even 1,800, yeah. it was not as high as this. Now that the dollar is about 1,100 and something, so we, so I want to plead with uh, government to do something about that. And I want to use this opportunity to tell the masses that if they see an increase in the price of petroleum, I mean, PMS especially in our filling station, it is not independent marketers making it is what we buy that we're selling, I must confess to you. Before now, I think they used to peg this, this amount. We used to have this um, X depot price and all of that. Don't we have all of that anymore? Uh, well, uh, since there's uh, the regulation the regulation, of the, so the market so is open, is open to the... And uh, the Department of Petroleum Resources, uh, the Defund Petroleum, uh, Department of Petroleum Resources, they are not about price now, but they are about dispensing the quantity that you're supposed to dispense okay. and all the regulations that uh, need to be bought. They are not too particular about price. But I think uh, people are taking but, advantage of that. It seems to gap. be contradicting. NNPC brings it in. Uh, they get the dollars from CBN when they need. I don't think they... So anyway, it's... So how are marketers... You know, I've always liked to, always liked to ask you this question. Because ICMA members are in this business, of course, to make profit. And when you have issues with margins, how do you try to cope? How do you manage it? Uh, well, quite, quite honestly, I think um, we have new leadership in ICMA now, and they are doing their best to collaborate with uh, NMPC. Because that is the only source where we... I mean, yes. That is the NMPC uh, Limited is where we are supposed to get our product. Yes. But I must tell you that we are not getting the product as that I'm like if you pay for a forty five thousand liters today, it might take you one month, two months. So the private pay. guys have it and they want to so, sell it. So so you don't have any other option because yeah, you don't want your, you don't want your station to be dry. So you have to source from it. the secondary um, uh, uh, marketers, that is uh, the people with uh, in a papa. So with people with tank farm. So when you get there, you buy what you, what you see. That is where the problem lies now. All the depots today, I can confirm to you, and you journalists, people can do, go and do your due diligence there and, and investigate what is happening there. But as of today, before I came to the studio, it was 666. It's beyond the money. So, it's, obviously, it's, when it, you get it to your it's station, beyond the money. So, you can't sell so less. So, now, if you are trading with uh, maybe 27 million naira before, you, tactically, it has risen to about 28 or 28.5. That's the first thing. Then, your margin is drastically reduced because it becomes very difficult for us because we are the receiving hand. We are the one that they are dealing with uh, the, the, the end users. And of course, most of these people won't understand what the problems are. They will all, always be causing, at times they cause us that, ah, you people are thief and whereas it is not. In fact, when it's going up like that, our margin even reduces because it becomes very difficult for us to even escalate the price beyond certain level. So that's the problem we are facing now. And uh, if nothing is done, I think uh, you will start witnessing of course, it's already happening now that we have pocket of uh, queues. Yes, yes. Let's say. Last week. And, and uh, you know, normally it is an independent marketer, Ipman, that normally, I mean, augment and suppress yes, the, yes. this person. Yes, but, but the crazy. if we don't have this product, we we'll start noticing a very serious queue. And we'll, what will happen is that uh, people will be now start migrating from the rural area to the, to the city, and there is going to be prayer. So I want to implore the government to do something quickly about it. Independent marketers, we are not having enough uh, as at when deal, and uh, where we are buying, the price is on the high side. The regulation of this market is what we all clamored for. We discussed it, and I've had you here on many instances where we talked about the regulation, and you articulated your points and your position, even the position of Ipman, your, your zone, on this. But as it is, 
what is your understanding of where we've got into in implementing this, <laughs> this <laughs> our PIA? Well, quite honestly, at times uh, when you when you look at um, if you don't do something in practical, mm. at times your permutation may be may may, may be wrong. Mm. But actually, if uh, there's the regulation and there are so many players in the industry, what we expect economically is that the price will go down. So I think what is still uh, causing this problem is that uh, there is no adequate supply. So some people are taking advantage. So government has to do more of supply. Like uh, we were told that uh, Paracos Refinery is going to start trucking out by December, January, but we are in April now. So, no communication regarding so, so that. No communication so that's not a good that. one. So it, supposing uh, Portaco Rebranary has started, and there may be worry follows, Kaduna follows, and so on and so forth, probably we are not we're going to witness what we are witnessing today. So and government has to speak out to let us know. Yes, we agree with government policies. We are following them diligently as a good citizen of this country. But if information is not properly disseminated, especially when you tell people it's going to be this date, and if it's not going to be that date again, we have to know the reason why. You know, if you, they told us December, January, this is April, and there's no sign in, uh, of anything coming up in from Paracourt. Though, from uh, information we have gathered, yes, work is ongoing, but what is delaying the production? Because what we need to see is that we want to see products so we are appealing to government to, I mean, especially NMPC, the group managing director, to speak out and let us know exactly what the problem is. But honestly, there is shortage of supply, as I spoke with you. Mm. Generally, shortage of supply. There's, there's shortage, no doubt about that. Even the NMPC retail itself, you know, we have class of uh, marketers, we have NMPC retail, we have major marketers, we have independent marketers. Even and then piece retail, if you see... True, some of them don't, don't have products. Don't have products. It's either they have products for one day and in the next two the days... The next they don't have. They don't have. So there's inadequate supply of petroleum products. That has to... The gap has to be bridged as soon as possible so that we don't witness... Uh, and you know, it's so sensitive. Once it happens, immediately you start to see the queues. Immediately you see filling stations being locked up and, uh, and all of this. What other challenges are, are, are you, you and members facing, really, regards to this distribution, movement of PMS, and, and your kind of business at this time. Is this a good time to be a marketer? <laughs> no. You know, there used to be a well, time, sorry to interject yeah. you, there used to be a time where everyone yeah. wants to be an oil magnet, an oil marketer. Is this one of the best times? No, it's not, it's not one of the best times. But you agree with me that uh, filling station cannot be used for another thing. Once we are into it, <laughs> you, you are into it. You can sell water there, you can sell. And uh, mm -hmm. the irony of it, even if you have some other product that you are selling, once there is no PMA in yes. the station, it seems like all that products will not. All that will not, sell. yeah. So it's yeah, not a good it. time. But um, we believe that a uh, uh, tough time will not last. We are rugged people. It is not easy, but we have to accept it the way it is and uh, work with the government because we want this country to move forward. But however, what, is, what accounts for what is happening now is that uh, inadequate supply. Inadequate, so that is easy. I think government is trying to regulate uh, what they bring into the country. So they are not meeting up with the supply. I think after subsidy removal, there was a figure of 40-something million not, not proven. Later, well, they, I think there was a drop after the removal of subsidy, maybe because of the hike. And so maybe they are not getting, but, but that, that, that really, when, can independent um, dealers or businessmen, if they have FX, can they import at the moment? Is the market that opened? No, it's not open. It's yet. not open. It's not open. It's only an NPC. It's only an NPC. It's not, it's only an NPC. Now that, that the FX now. is a little more available and all of that, I think that CBN can do that. Uh, well, like I said, even if we are not given that opportunity, if the local refineries, we are hoping that when Dangote starts... Yes, yes, pending the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the but, uh, So, because uh, hopefully, as uh, we have been told, by next month, Dangote should be... Okay, to, 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 to our PMS. And uh, with this capacity of about 650,000 yes. barrel per day, yes. it's, 
very, very adequate for, for use in Nigeria and even for exports. Mm. So if that is done, I think we'll be out of this uh, inadequate supply. Mm. So that is the major hiccup that, that, that you have now. O almost finally. No, no, it's not, it's not the only hiccup. <laughs> you see, you see okay, go ahead. I've always been saying, I've always been saying that uh, our primary area of supply is our depots. For example, Lagos Satellite Depot services Lagos State and some part of Lagos State, I mean part of Ogun State. We have Mosmi Depot, mm. which services Ogun State and some part of uh, Ondo State and the rest. We have Ibadan Depot that services Oyo State and Oso State. Mm. We have for a depot. So my concern and our, our request is that it is those depots that we want working that can actually solve our problems. So governments will do something, but that is what we want. And the issue now is that uh, the issue is about the pipeline. Pipeline, I wanted to ask, I just joined that. Do yes. we have active pipelines to most no, of these no, depots? No, we don't. If not, some but, have been let me, let, let, me, let me tell you, government don't have any excuse about that mm. because they have every power is within government. They have the military, they have the civil defense, they have uh, police, they have all this. Government cannot give excuse because if you ask me what is the first responsibility of government is to protect lives and property. True. So if government is giving excuses of uh, they cannot protect pipeline, then what do we individuals say about our feelings and some other of our property? So I don't, I mean, they should, they should not give us that excuse that they cannot protect their pipeline. They should. The length of pipeline from Lagos to Ibadan is less than... Uh, 150 kilometers. So if government is saying that they cannot protect 150 kilometers, then that is, that is even uh, a slap on the face of government. Mm. Because the people that are finalizing the pipelines, they are not ghosts. No. And uh, civil defense, one of their core values is that uh, they must protect uh, government properties. So what's, why, why do we have the civil defense? What are they doing? Mm. The police the military, and some other uh, security agencies. And uh, we are in terms of technology. They should deploy the technology into the system uh, to discover if anybody is tampering with the line and shut it down or whatever. So there shouldn't be any excuse because once they give excuses or when they close down, they are closing down business of millions of people in Nigeria. Yeah. And it's also translating to people losing their job, even people going into bankruptcy. Among us, yes, I can tell you for free that because so many people cannot operate their filling yeah. station as a result of this inefficiency of, 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 of government. Mm. Mm. Yes, mm. there's inefficiency in the part, on the part of government. You will see how Dangote will operate. No staff of Dangote will come to work 10 o'clock. But when you go to government uh, 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 offices, people will not come to work 10 o'clock. Even some people will not come to work in a week, but nobody will be going to do that. So, and that's why we want uh, participation from businessmen and women, so that there can be there can there will be competition and there will be efficiency. So, but quite honestly, we are appealing to government. Please, we need our depots to start working. That's the best they can do for us. The issue of going to Dangote, going to wherever, going to Apapa has not been very easy for our people. Because at times, you will send your truck to Apapa, two, three, four, five days, you will not be able to load. load. Uh, last month, we catch your vehicle. They will ask you to come and pay 100000 200000 People will travel from uh, Ilorni. You see the cost of this, and they will factor it into the, into the price of the product. Exactly. So that's... But, but if they have the product in Ilorni, it's just a matter of taking it from and yes. it there. and that has been the main reason why I'm so, I needed to interject to you that from time, I, I, I can attest to this, that you don't buy PMS at the same amount you sold in Lagos, in other states. It has always been like that most oh, times. Oh, yes. Even when it was 180 here in Lagos, when you go outside Lagos, you see 220. When you are somewhere in the east, 250, 300 in some cases. Even in Biosa, where the crude is being <laughs> drilled, it, PMS was sold more than... 
So at the moment now, only God knows how much that is. Uh, well, it's as a result of this. Yes, when you come from a degree to go in Lagos. Because today, if you let us put the price of this who at 1,400. It's worrisome. If you are going to Suleja from Lagos, your vehicle will consume about 700. Yeah. Uh, 700 liters of this. And if you times that by 1,400, it's almost a million naira. That is for this way alone. Mm. Apart from uh, the wear and tear of the tires, the, all other logistics and the rest, and we uh, take care of the driver. The cost of uh, putting a vehicle on the road now is about 60 million naira. Yes. Million. Yes, the cost of it. Because um, the, the, the truck head, is about 30 million naira or and above. The tank is uh, about 20 million. You have to buy like uh, 14 or 16 tires. Then you paint, you do this and that. So it's about 60 million. So even when you, how much would they pay you that even equate what you have invested in the transportation? So it's not a good time for, for us in it, man. <sighs> Your final thoughts on this. Oh, honestly, a lot, a lot of work needs to be done. Well, uh, my final thought is that uh, I still want to commend our members for their perseverance, and I want to plead with them to let us give government time and let us continue to be a good citizen of this country. But nevertheless, we will continue to press home our request, especially having product in our respective depot. It is very important. We can you manage 21 depot and all of them are moribund. Yeah. That, is, that, is, that is not too good for, for the government. Mm -hmm. And uh, they should see that as a slap on their own face, that they cannot manage. You know. So it is important that NMPC Limited has to do something about this depot. If man is ready to collaborate with them in terms of surveillance and the rest, if they give us the opportunity, we are ready to collaborate. We have done it before and we can still do it. So our request is that let our depot works. Mm. Interesting conversation. There. We'll see a lot of that plays out and we'll have you in again to analyze it. Mr. Dele Tajuddin is uh, the chairman of the Southwest Zone of Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ape Man. They are in the nooks and crannies uh, of the country. Uh, thank you so much. Do enjoy your week. Thank you, Dele. Yeah. <laughs>